All right, just a quick uh, look at the optics I'm using. Oh, kind of pan in here and give you a look at it. Now, if you uh, by chance you notice first off that I have a G G and G standard optic um, rail or riser. Um, I did manage to get out, like I said, and uh, test fired this a few times and uh, had a little problem with my scope rings, the scope rings being a bit low. So I called G and G, G, G and G and talked to them. I already had this piece of hardware and they told me that it will stand up to the 50. So I guess we're going to find out. Now I like to be up a little higher on my optics and these me the rings measured in at one and a quarter inches to the center of the optic now my other scope um, sets 1.93 inches to the center of the optic so as you can see there's a difference there and it was a lot more comfortable now if you'll notice which I'm sure you have already and I want to explain this because I got some grief uh, a while back on this as to why the scope is turned 90 degrees to the left and uh, I'm gonna show you why okay just for those out there that uh, are going scratching their head going what is going on with the optics here I'm gonna put you there we go I'm gonna flip this around set with that thing okay pick you back up now I'm gonna bring you over here and show you the scope now as you noticed like I said it's rotated 90 degrees to the left the elevation is now your windage adjustment your windage is now your elevation adjustment your adjustable paraplex or in my case with my mark II, I have an adjustable objective which is out here okay now on this particular scope now remember this is a fixed powered scope but your adjustable power uh, paraplex is right here okay then move this light over the actual eyepiece focusing is right here So, basically, the way this scope is set up, the person that loaned me this is a long range shooter, and this is the way he had it set up. Now, I played with it a little bit, and I, for a fixed power, I have to say I like it. So, um, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to zoom in here, and I'm going to give you an idea how this is going to work so it's not really in reinventing the wheel as much as it's just mounting it a different way so the most part and the way this the rifle set up is you're pretty much going to have it zeroed where you want it you're going to have it leveled and everything else so you take your shot you realize you have to adjust your windage now without losing your sight picture okay you can turn the dial on this side you can reach up I'm gonna move my arm out of the way and you can adjust your elevation without losing your firing position you can adjust your paraplex and you could also adjust your focus all with the left hand so it's not really reinventing the wheel as much as is like I said just trying a different mounting so and this way you can actually keep your eye your optic picture in the scope 
And then if you have to, you just open your left eye and you can see your dials without taking your hand out of the firing position or losing your scope picture. So, anyway, like I said, it's just a different way of looking at things, and I played with it, and I think I'm going to run with it. But I just wanted to explain that for the folks out there, so you, people aren't scratching their head going, what kind of scope is that, or anything like that. Alright, we're going to move on, and I'm going to get the rifle broke down for transport. Excuse me. Okay, we're going to break this down for transport now. And for the most part, it breaks down into roughly four pieces. So, first thing we're going to do, I'll lean over here. Okay, we're going to take our bolt out. I'm going to flip it over on its top. Okay, you'll see there's a screw in there, and I'm going to go over a couple of things on the on the bipod itself. Turn this out. Okay. You ever have one of those bad days where you're lucky if you can find your tennis shoes? It's kind of one of those days. There we go. Okay. Now see, this is what I what I was talking about on the bottom of the stock. And there's three options. You have the uh, the it'll be a piece like this with just a a stud in it for like the Harris bipod. Then you have the Prince bipod. And then you have the APA. And this, I forgot to mention that this bipod is adjustable. As far as your cant goes. And you can see the screw right there. You loosen that up and then you can pitch it whichever way you want to. That was my fault. I got a little rush for time. Okay. There's the bipod. Okay, bolt, bipod, and now for the stock. I found it just easier to get it off the side of the table. Now, if you are interested in one of these, Armalite does offer a customized case for these. Um, you'd have to check their website. I can't remember the cost of it right offhand. But, uh, see? Two screws there. And you remove the stock. And put the screws back in. All right. So there you go. Now all that I have to do, I have a, a hard case that I can fit this in, and then I have another um, smaller hard case that those pieces will fit in. Well, I think that pretty much does it for the for this set of videos, uh, the informational side on the AR50 A1B. Stay tuned for more. The next set of videos coming up will be out at the shooting range. 
And as I always like to say, be safe, send it down range, and target on. Well, see you out on the range.